Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have a big ATP 1000 event this week, the Canadian Open in Toronto, in Canada. It's a huge event on the calendar for the US Open, which is only a couple of weeks away. Of course, it's a split event as well with the WTA. But we've got some big names playing in this one. It's going to be a big, big event. We have some huge names that are not playing in this one. So let's go to the withdrawal list. All right, starting with the withdrawal list. Here we have Matteo Berrettini. He's not playing. Bronze medalist at the Olympics. Carino Busta, also not playing. Chorich is out. Novak Djokovic, world number one. He is not playing. And Roger Federer also not playing this one. Goffin is also out. Team is still battling injury. He's not playing. Raonic is not playing. Vavrink is out. And also the gold medalist at the Olympics, Sasha Zverev. He is also not playing in this event. All right, starting at the top of the draw now. And we have 16 seeds in this one. And they all get a bye in the first round. Daniel Medvedev, he's the number one seed. He gets a bye in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Evans versus Bublik, who are going at it in the first round. So that'll be an interesting matchup. Either way for Medvedev, very tough opponent coming his way. Then we've got a qualifier versus Fritz. Winner of that match takes on the number 16 seed, Sinner, in the second round. We had a great week last week on the hard courts. Then we've got the number 12 seed, Dimonor, getting a bye in the first round. He'll take on the winner of the wild card, Brooksby and Basilashvili, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Ketchmenovic versus Nishikori. Winner of that match takes on the number 7 seed, Hubi Hercatch. So a lot of big names to watch out for in this one. Of course, Daniel Medvedev, going to be keeping an eye on him this week. Also going to keep an eye on Yannick Sinner, who's had a really good week on the hard courts this week, making it to the final of the Washington Open. And I'm also interested to see how Nishikori does this week, who is also playing really well this week in Washington. So very stacked part of the draw, not to mention guys like Hercatch and Dimonor, who are also very dangerous. So there's the big three that I'm going to be watching out for this week, but it's going to be a very interesting part of the draw, and it's not going to be easy for Medvedev. Going to the second quarter of the draw, we have the number four seed, Rublev, getting a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Struff versus Fanini, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Isner versus Vakina. Winner of that match takes on the number 13 seed, Garen, in the second round. Then we've got the number 11 seed, Monfils, buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Milman, or a qualifier, in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus quarter. Winner of that match takes on the number five seed, Shapovalov, in the second round. So this is kind of a bit of an open draw for me because you've got some really big names that you should be watching out for. But overall, I wouldn't be surprised who gets out of this one. Of course, you've got to watch out for Rublev and Shapovalov both young players and both the high seeds in this part of the draw. But I'm also interested to see how Isner does, being an unseeded player, playing in North America. He does like playing on hard courts, so very interested to see how he does in a pretty open draw. This is a very wide open part of the draw, and of course, this part of the draw takes on Medvedev's part of the draw, so potentially a Shapovalov versus Medvedev semi-final, or Rublev versus Medvedev could be in the semi-final stage if it all plays out. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, we've got the top section of the bottom half, number six seed, Rud who's had a great clay court season. He won three titles back-to-back -back on clay. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Ramos Vinoles versus Chilich, who are going at it in the first round. Then we got Lajovic versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number nine seed, Felix Auger Eliassime. Then we got the number 15 seed, Karatsev. He'll take on the winner of Nori or Hashinov in the second round. And both of those players are in great form, so circle that one as one to watch. Then we got Sinego versus Umber. Winner of that match takes on Tsitsipas, the number three seed in the second round. So really interested to see how this part of the draw goes because there are a lot of good players, not only the seeds, but also the unseeded players. Of course, we're watching out for City Pass. He might have to play Umber in the second round who actually beat him at the Olympics a couple of weeks ago. So want to see how City Pass does this week. Also, Casper Rudd. Want to see how he can convert his game from clay courts onto the hard courts because we have no more clay court events in 2021. So he's going to have to play well on the hard courts if he wants to get into the ATP finals at the end of the year. And also, also interested to see how Hashinov does this week after getting to the gold medal match at the Olympics a couple of weeks ago. See how he does on the hard courts this week. And going to the bottom quarter of the draw now, we've got the number eight seed, Schwartzman. He gets a bye in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Pear or McDonald in the second round. Then we've got Pospisil, the wild card, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number 10 seed, Batista Agu, in the second round. Then we've got the number 14 seed, Dimitrov, getting a bye in the first round. He'll take on the winner of the wildcard Kyrgios or Opelka, who are going at it in the first round. That's a huge first round matchup. Circle that one as one to watch. Very excited to see that one. Then we've got Harris versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Rafa Nadal. So for me, this is the most exciting part of the draw because, of course, we've got Rafa. We're going to be watching out for Rafa this week, the number two seed. Had a pretty disappointing week last week in Washington. Was a little bit injured as well. Actually lost to Harris 
in that tournament, and he might have to play him again in the second round. So there's already a blockbuster matchup on the cards. And of course, Kyrgios, if he can get through Opelka and Dimitrov, will set up that third round match with Rafa if they both win. So very interested to see how Rafa and Kyrgios do in this event. And of course, you've got to watch out for Diego Schwartzman, the number eight seed. He's played very well on the hard courts over his career. And he's got a pretty good part of the draw. If he can get through the first couple of rounds and with Rafa being in a pretty tough part of the draw, who knows if he's even going to get through. So Schwartzman, he could make a little bit of a run for this and maybe make it to the semifinals. And of course, the winner of this part of the draw will take on the City Pass part of the draw. So we potentially have a City Pass versus Nadal semifinal, or maybe a Schwartzman versus City Pass semifinal, or even a Nadal versus FAA semi-final but again anything is possible to have anyone in the semi-finals because these parts of the draw are very very wide open especially with Rafa losing last week in a bit of an upset who knows what he's going to be feeling like this week so there could be anyone in the semi-finals big opportunities for even the unseated players in this part of the draw so there it is, the Canadian Open for the ATP, and it's a pretty stacked draw. Even the unseeded players are very, very dangerous. Of course, we've got Nadal down the bottom, Medvedev up the top. We'll see how they play, because over the last couple of weeks, they haven't played great. We've had Medvedev losing at the Olympics in a bit of an upset. Of course, Nadal lost last week to Harris in an upset, which could be a second round matchup. Very interested to see how that one goes this week. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most interested to watch this week and who is going to win this event? Because I don't think it's as straightforward as picking one of the best seeds. All right, having a look at the draw. And like I said, it's a very wide open draw. And it's not as straightforward as just going for the best players in the world. But I'm going to go with Andre Rublev. I feel like he's got a really good part of the draw. I know Shapovalov is a dangerous player, especially playing in front of his home crowd. But I think Rublev has a pretty good draw. And especially if Medvedev was to go down early, Rublev might be able to sneak his way to the final uh, with Nadal and Tsitsipas getting a pretty tough draw. Who knows who will be playing in that final. So I'm going to go with Rublev to make it and win his first ATP 1000 event. Again, let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one. For the Canadian Open, we didn't have it last year, but we have it this year. And it's a pretty stacked event.